Sura 36, Yasin, Part 23. And what reason have I that I should not serve him who created me and to whom you will be brought back? Shall I take besides him gods whose intercession, if the beneficent should desire to afflict me with harm, will avail me not, nor can they deliver me? Then I shall surely be in clear error. Surely I believe in your Lord, so hear me. It was said, Enter the garden. He said, Would that my people knew how my Lord has forgiven me and made me of the honored ones. And we sent not down upon his people after him any host from heaven, nor do we ever send. It was not but a single cry, and lo, they were still. Alas for the servants! Never does a messenger come to them, but they mock him. See they not how many generations we destroyed before them, that they return not to them? And all, surely all, will be brought before us. And a sign to them is the dead earth. We give life to it and bring forth from it grain, so they eat of it. And we make therein gardens of date palms and grapes, and we make springs to flow forth therein, that they may eat of the fruit thereof, and their hands made it not. Will they not give thanks? Glory be to him who created pairs of all things, of what the earth grows, and of their kind, and of what they know not. And a sign to them is the night. We draw forth from it the day, then lo, they are in darkness." and the sun moves on to its destination. That is the ordinance of the mighty, the knower. And the moon, we have ordained for its stages, till it becomes again as an old dried palm branch. Neither is it for the sun to overtake the moon, nor can the night outstrip the day, and all float on in an orbit. And a sign to them is that we bear their offspring in the laden ship, and we have created for them the like thereof whereon they ride. And if we please, we may drown them. Then there is no succor for them, nor can they be rescued. But by mercy from us, and for enjoyment till a time. And when it is said to them, Guard against that which is before you and that which is behind you, that mercy may be shown to you. And there comes to them no message of the messages of their Lord, but they turn away from it. And when it is said to them, Spend out of that which Allah has given you, those who disbelieve say to those who believe, Shall we feed him whom, if Allah please, he could feed? You are in naught but clear error. And they say, When will this promise come to pass if you are truthful? They await but a single cry, which will overtake them while they contend. So they will not be able to make a bequest, nor will they return to their families. And the trumpet is blown, when, lo, from their graves they will hasten on to their Lord. They will say, O oh, woe to us! Who has raised us up from our sleeping place? This is what the Beneficent promised, and the messengers told the truth. It is but a single cry, when, lo, they are all brought before us. So this day no soul is wronged in aught, and you are not rewarded aught, but for what you did. Surely the owners of the garden are on that day in a happy occupation. They and their wives are in shades, reclining on raised couches. They have fruits therein, and they have whatever they desire. Peace, a word from a merciful Lord. And withdraw today, O guilty ones. Did I not charge you, O children of Adam, that you serve not the devil? Surely he is your open enemy. And that you serve me, this is the right way. And certainly he led astray numerous people from among you. Could you not then understand? This is the hell which you were promised. Enter it this day because you disbelieved. 
that day we shall seal their mouths and their hands will speak to us and their feet will bear witness as to what they earned and if we pleased we would put out their eyes then they would strive to get first to the way but how should they see and if we pleased we would transform them in their place then they would not be able to go on or turn back and whomsoever we cause to live long we reduce to an abject state in creation do they not understand and we have not taught him poetry nor is it meet for him this is not but a reminder and a plain quran to warn him who would have life and that the word may prove true against the disbelievers see they not that we have created cattle for them out of what our hands have wrought so they are their masters and we have subjected them to them so some of them they ride and some they eat and therein they have advantages and drinks will they not then give thanks and they take gods besides allah that they may be helped they are not able to help them and they are a host brought up before them so let not their speech grieve thee surely we know what they do in secret and what they do openly does not man see that we have created him from the small life germ then lo he is an open disputant and he strikes out a likeness for us and forgets his own creation says he who will give life to the bones when they are rotten say he will give life to them who brought them into existence at first and he is knower of all creation who produced fire for you out of the green tree so that with it you kindle is not he who created the heavens and the earth able to create the like of them yea and he is the creator of all the knower his command when he intends anything is only to say to it be and it is so glory be to him in whose hand is the kingdom of all things and to him you will be returned surah 37 al safat those ranging in ranks in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful by those ranging in ranks and those who restrain holding in restraint and those who recite the reminder surely your god is one the lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them and the lord of the eastern lands surely we have adorned the lower heaven with an adornment the stars and there is a safeguard against every rebellious devil they cannot listen to the exalted assembly and they are reproached from every side driven off and for them is a perpetual chastisement except him who snatches away but once then there follows him a brightly shining flame so ask them whether they are stronger in creation or those others whom we have created surely we created them of firm clay nay thou wonderest while they mock and when they are reminded they mind not and when they see a sign they seek to scoff and say this is nothing but clear enchantment when we are dead and have become dust and bones shall we then be raised or our fathers of yore say yea and you will be humiliated so it will be but one cry when lo they will see and they will say o oh, woe to us this is the day of requital this is the day of judgment which you called a lie gather together those who did wrong and their associates and what they worshipped besides allah then lead them to the way to hell and stop them for they shall be questioned what is the matter with you that you help not one another nay on that day they will be submissive and some of them will turn to others mutually questioning saying 
surely you used to come to us from the right side they will say nay you yourselves were not believers and we had no authority over you but you were an inordinate people so the word of our lord has proved true against us we shall surely taste we led you astray for we ourselves were erring so that day they will be sharers in the chastisement thus do we deal with the guilty they indeed were arrogant when it was said to them there is no god but allah and said shall we give up our gods for a mad poet nay he has brought the truth and verifies the messengers surely you will taste the painful chastisement and you are requited not but for what you did save the servants of allah the purified ones for them is a known sustenance fruits and they are honored in gardens of delight on thrones facing each other a bowl of running water will be made to go round them white delicious to those who drink it deprives not of reason nor are they exhausted therewith and with them are those modest in gaze having beautiful eyes as if they were eggs carefully protected then some of them will turn to others questioning mutually a speaker of them will say surely i had a comrade who said art thou indeed of those who accept when we are dead and have become dust and bones shall we then be requited he will say will you look then he looked down and saw him in the midst of hell he will say by allah thou hast almost caused me to perish and had it not been for the favor of my lord i should have been among those brought up are we not to die except our previous death and are we not to be chastised surely this is the mighty achievement for the like of this then let the workers work is this the better entertainment or the tree of zakam surely we have made it a trial for the wrongdoers it is a tree that grows in the bottom of hell it pro its produce is as it were the heads of serpents then truly they will eat of it and fill their bellies with it then surely they shall have after it a drink of boiling water then their return is surely to the flaming fire they indeed found their fathers astray so in their footsteps they are hastening on and most of the ancients surely went astray before them and indeed we sent among them warners then see what was the end of those warned except the servants of allah the purified ones and noah certainly called upon us an excellent answer of prayers are we and we delivered him and his people from the great distress and made his offspring the survivors and left for him praise among the later generations peace be to noah among the nations thus indeed do we reward the doers of good surely he was of our believing servants then we drowned the others and surely of his party was abraham when he came to his lord with a secure heart when he said to his sire and his people what is it that you worship a lie gods besides allah do you desire what is then your idea about the lord of the world then he glanced a glance at the stars and said surely i am sick of your deities so they turned their backs on him going away then he turned to their gods and said do you not eat what is the matter with you that you speak not so he turned upon them smiting with the right hand then they came to him hastening he said do you worship that which you hew out and allah has created you in what you make they said build for him a building then cast him into the flaming fire 
and they designed a plan against him, but we brought them low. And he said, Surely I flee to my Lord, he will guide me. My Lord, grant me a doer of good deeds. So we gave him the news of a forbearing son. But when he became of age to work with him, he said, O oh my son, I have seen in a dream that I should sacrifice thee, so consider what thou seest. He said, O oh my father, do as thou art commanded. If Allah please, thou wilt find me patient. So when they both submitted, and he had thrown him down upon his forehead, and we called out to him, saying, O Abraham, thou hast indeed fulfilled the vision. Thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely this is a manifest trial. And we ransomed him with a great sacrifice, and we granted him among the later generations the salutation, Peace be to Abraham. Thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely he was one of our believing servants. And we gave him the good news of Isaac, a prophet, a righteous one. And we blessed him and Isaac. And of their offspring, some of them are doers of good, but some are clearly unjust to themselves. And certainly we conferred a favor on Moses and Aaron, and we delivered them and their people from the mighty distress. And we helped them, so they were the vanquishers. And we gave them both the clear book, and we guided them on the right way. And we granted them among the later generations the salutation, Peace be to Moses and Aaron. Thus do we reward the doers of good. Surely they were both of our believing servants. And Elias was surely of those sent. When he said to his people, Will you not guard against evil? Do you call upon Baal and forsake the best of the creators? Allah, your Lord, and the Lord of your fathers of yore? But they rejected him, so they shall be brought up. But not the servants of Allah, the purified ones, and we granted him among the later generations the salutation, Peace be to Elias. Even thus we reward the doers of good. Surely he was one of our believing servants, and Lot was surely of those sent. When we delivered him and his people all, except an old woman among those who remained behind, then we destroyed the others. And surely you pass by them in the morning and at night. Do you not then understand? And Jonah was surely of those sent when he fled to the laden ship. So he shared with others, but was of those cast away. So the fish took him into its mouth while he was blamable. But had he not been of those who glorify us, he would have tarried in its belly till the day when they are raised. Then we cast him on the naked shore while he was sick, and we caused a gourd to grow up for him, and we sent him to a hundred thousand or more, and they believed, so we gave them provision till a time. Now ask them whether thy Lord has daughters and they have sons, or did we create the angels, females, while they witnessed? Now surely it is of their own lie that they say, Allah has begotten, and truly they are liars. Has he preferred daughters to sons? What is the matter with you? How you judge? Will you not then mind? Or have you a clear authority? Then bring your book if you are truthful, and they assert a relationship between him and the jinn, and certainly the jinn know that they will be brought up for judgment. Glory be to Allah from what they describe, but not so the servants of Allah, the purified ones. So surely you and that which you serve, not against him can you cause any to fall into trial, save him who will burn in the flaming fire. And there is none of us 
but has a sign. And there is none of us but has an assigned place. And verily we are ranged in ranks, and we truly glorify him. And surely they used to say, had we a reminder from those of yore, we would have been sincere servants of Allah. But now they disbelieve in it, so they will come to know. And certainly our word has already gone forth to our servants, to those sent, that they, surely they, will be helped, and our host, surely they, will be triumphant. So turn away from them till a time, and watch them, they too will see. Would they hasten on our chastisement? So when it descends in their court, evil will be the mourning of the warned ones, and turn away from them till a time. And watch, for they too will see. Glory be to thy Lord, the Lord of might, above what they describe. And peace be to those sent. And praise be to Allah, the Lord of the world. Surah 38, Sa'd In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Truthful God, by the Quran, possessing eminence. Nay, those who disbelieve are in self-exaltation and opposition. How many a generation we destroyed before them. Then they cried when there was no longer time for escape. And they wonder that a warner from among themselves has come to them. And the disbelievers say, This is an enchanter, a liar. Makes he the gods a single god? Surely this is a strange thing. And the chiefs among them say, Go, and steadily adhere to your gods. Surely this is a thing intended. We never heard of this in the former faith. This is nothing but a forgery. Has the reminder been revealed to him from among us? Nay, they are in doubt as to my reminder. Nay, they have not yet tasted my chastisement. Or, have they the treasures of the mercy of thy Lord, the mighty, the great giver? Or is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is between them theirs? Then let them rise higher in means. What an army of the allies is here put to flight? The people of Noah and Ad and Pharaoh, the Lord of hosts, rejected prophets before them, and the mood and the people of Lot and the dwellers of the grove. These were the parties opposing truth. Not one of them but rejected the messengers, so just was my retribution. And these wait but for one cry, wherein there is no delay. And they say, Our Lord, hasten on for us our portion before the day of reckoning. Bear patiently what they say, and remember our servant David, the possessor of power. He ever turned to Allah. Truly we made the mountains sub subject to him, glorifying Allah at nightfall and sunrise, and the birds gathered together, all were ob obedient to him. And we strengthened his kingdom, and we gave him wisdom and a clear judgment. And has the story of the adversaries come to thee, when they made an entry into the private chamber by climbing the wall? When they came upon David, so he was afraid of them. They said, Fear not, two litigants of whom one has wronged the other, so decide between us with justice, and act not unjustly, and guide us to the right way. This is my brother. He has ninety-nine ewes, and I have a single ewe. Then, he said, Make it over to me, and he has prevailed against me in dispute. He said, Surely he has wronged thee in demanding thy ewe to add to his own ewes, and surely many partners wrong one another save those who believe and do good, and very few are they. And David knew what we had tried him. So he asked his Lord for protection, and he fell down bowing and turned to God. So we gave him this protection, and surely he had a nearness to us and an excellent resort. 
O David, surely we have made thee a ruler in the land. So judge between men justly, and follow not desire, lest it lead thee astray from the path of Allah. Those who go astray from the path of Allah, for them is surely a severe chastisement, because they forgot the day of reckoning. And we created not the heaven and the earth, and what is between them in vain. That is the opinion of those who disbelieve. So woe to those who disbelieve on account of the fire. Shall we treat those who believe and do good like the mischief makers in the earth? Or shall we make the dutiful like the wicked? This is a book that we have revealed to thee, abounding in good, that they may ponder over its verses, and that the men of understanding may mind. And we gave to David Solomon, most excellent the servant. Surely he ever turned to Allah. When well-bred, swift horses were brought to him at evening. So he said, I love the good things on account of the remembrance of my Lord, until they were hidden behind the veil. He said, Bring them back to me. So he began to stroke their legs and necks. And certainly we tried Solomon, and we put on his throne a mere body. So he turned to Allah. He said, My Lord, forgive me and grant me a kingdom which is not fit for anyone after me. Surely thou art the great giver. So we made the wind subservient to him, running gently by his command wherever he desired. And the devils, every builder and diver, and others fettered in chains. This is our free gift, so give freely or withhold without reckoning. And surely he had a nearness to us and an excellent resort. And remember our servant Job, when he cried to his Lord, The devil has afflicted me with toil and torment. Urge with thy foot, here is a cool washing place and a drink. And we gave him his people, and the like of them with them, a mercy from us, and a reminder from men of understanding. And take in thy hand few worldly goods, and earn goodness therewith, and incline not to falsehood. Surely we found him patient, most excellent the servant. Surely he ever turned to us. And remember our servants Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, men of power and insight. We indeed purified them by a pure quality, the keeping in mind of the final abode. And surely they were with us of the elect the best. And remember Ishmael and Elisha and Dulukufel, and they were of the best. This is a reminder, and surely there is an excellent resort for the dutiful. Gardens of perpetuity, the doors are opened for them, reclining therein, calling therein for many fruits and drink. And with them are those modest in gaze, equal in age. This is what you are promised for the day of reckoning. Surely this is our sustenance. It will never come to an end. This is for the good, and surely there is an evil resort for the inordinate. Hell, they will enter it, so evil is the resting place. This, so let them taste it, boiling an intensely cold drink, and other similar punishment of various sorts. This is an army rushing headlong with you, no welcome for them. Surely they will burn in the fire. This is an army rushing headlong with you, no welcome for them. Surely they will burn in fire. They say, Nay, you, no welcome to you. You prepared it for us, so evil is the resting place. They say, Our Lord, whoever prepared it for us, give him more, a double, punishment in the fire. And they say, What is the matter with us? We see not men whom we use to count among the vicious. Did we only take them in scorns, or do our eyes miss them? That surely is the truth, the contending one with another of the inmates of the fire. Say, I am only a warner, 
and there is no god but allah the one the subduer of all the lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them the mighty the forgiving say it is a message of importance from which you turn away i have no knowledge of the exalted chiefs when they contend only this is revealed to me that i am a plain warner when thy lord said to the angels surely i am going to create a mortal from dust so when i have made him complete and breathe into him of my spirit fall down submitting to him and the angels submitted all of them but not iblis he was proud and he was one of the disbelievers he said o oh, iblis what prevented thee from submitting to him whom i created with both my hands art thou proud or art thou of the exalted ones he said i am better than he thou hast created me of fire and him thou didst create of dust he said go forth from hence surely thou art driven away and surely my curse is on thee to the day of judgment he said my lord respite me to the day that they are raised he said surely thou art of the respited ones till the day of the time made known he said then by thy might i will surely lead them all astray except thy servants from among them the purified ones he said the truth is and the truth i speak that i shall fill hell with thee and with all those among them who follow thee say I ask you no reward for it, nor am I of the impostors. It is not but a reminder to the nations, and certainly you will come to know about it after a time. Surah 39, Al-Zumar, The Companies In the name of Allah the Beneficent, the Merciful, the revelation of the book is from Allah, the Mighty, the Wise, surely we have revealed to thee the book with truth so serve allah being sincere to him in obedience now surely sincere obedience is due to allah alone and those who choose protectors besides him say we serve them only that they may bring us nearer to allah surely allah will judge between them in that in which they differ surely allah guides not him who is a liar, ungrateful. If Allah desired to take a son to himself, he could have chosen those he pleased out of those whom he has created. Glory be to him. He is Allah, the one, the subduer of all. He has created the heavens and the earth with truth. He makes the night cover the day and makes the day overtake the night. And he has made the sun and the moon subservient each one moves on to an assigned term now surely he is the mighty the forgiver he created you from a single being then made its mate of the same kind and he sent down for you eight of the cattle in pairs he created you in the wombs of your mothers creation after creation in triple darkness that is allah your lord his is the kingdom there is no god but he how are you then turned away if you are ungrateful then surely allah is above need of you and he likes not ungratefulness in his servants and if you are grateful he likes it for you and no bearer of a burden will bear another's burden then to your lord is your return then will he inform you of what you did surely he is knower of what is in the breasts and when distress afflicts a man he calls upon his lord turning to him then when he grants him a favor from him he forgets that for which he called upon him before and sets up rivals to allah that he may cause men to stray from his path say enjoin thine ungratefulness for a little surely thou art of the companions of the fire is he who is obedient during hours of the night prostrating himself and standing taking care of the hereafter and hoping for the mercy of his lord say 
Are those who know and those who know not alike, only men of understanding mind? Say, O my servants who believe, keep your duty to your Lord, for those who do good in this world is good, and Allah's earth is spacious. Truly the steadfast will be paid their reward without measure. Say, I am commanded to serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience, and I am commanded to be the first of those who submit. Say, I fear, if I disobey my Lord, the chastisement of a grievous day. Say, Allah, I serve, being sincere to him in my obedience. Serve then what you will besides him. Say, the losers surely are those who lose themselves and their people on the day of resurrection. Now surely that is the manifest loss. They shall have coverings of fire above them and coverings beneath them. With that Allah makes his servants to fear. So keep your duty to me, O my servants. And those who eschew the worship of the idols and turn to Allah, for them is good news. So give good news to my servants, who listen to the word, then follow the best of it. Such are they whom Allah has guided, and such are the men of understanding. He against whom the sentence of chastisement is due, canst thou save him who is in the fire? But those who keep their duty to their Lord, for them are high places, above them higher places, built for them, wherein rivers flow. It is the promise of Allah. Allah fails not in his promise. Seest thou not that Allah sends down water from the clouds, then makes it go down into the earth in springs, then brings forth therewith herbage of various hues, then it withers so that thou seest it turn yellow, then he makes it chaff? Surely there is a reminder in this for men of understanding. Is he whose breast Allah has opened to Islam so that he follows a light from his Lord? So woe to those whose hearts are hardened against the remembrance of Allah. Such are in clear error. Allah has revealed the best announcement, a book consistent, repeating its injunctions, whereat do shudder the skins of those who fear their Lord. Then their skins and their hearts soften to Allah's remembrance. This is Allah's guide. He guides with it whom he pleases. And he whom Allah leaves in error, there is no guide for him. Is then he who has to guard himself with his own person against the evil chastisement of the resurrection day? And it will be said to the iniquitous, Taste what you earned. Those before them denied, so the chastisement came to them from whence they perceived not. So Allah made them taste disgrace in this world's life, and certainly the chastisement of the hereafter is greater, did they but know. And certainly we have set forth for men in this Quran similitudes of every sort that they may mind, an Arabic Quran without any crookedness that they may guard against evil. Allah sets forth a parable, a man belonging to partners differing with one another, and a man devoted wholly to one man. Are the two alike in condition? Praise be to Allah. Nay, most of them know not. Surely thou wilt die, and they too will die. Then surely on the day of resurrection, you will contend one with another before your Lord.